Uh. My watch beefing with my chain and I'm the instigator Ooh, the hardest. I keep going up, yeah, I put my bread on the escalator it's up, bitch. I come through in the drop top waving at my white neighbors yeah, yeah. Can't believe we on TV, now remember we didn't have cable That's their Instagram They got some great products So, um I'll be doing the uh, door seals. So, we first want to start off by, oh, uh, I already unboxed it and everything, but what comes in the package is um, this. It connects to this. Just make sure the red um, and the red line up. plugs right in and it also comes with um, these basically you stick the you stick the one of the wires I usually do the red for the red one stick it in there and then you stick another wire in there I, I'll show you but it comes with that and it also comes with um, a tester so you can find the power find your power wire with this they also give you tape in the box, but you'll also need um, some razor blades and you might need a knife. Um, I know the knife helped me. It's gonna be very helpful. So first thing you wanna do is go ahead and pop this off. I don't got no special tools to pop them off. I just use my hand, you know, try to just work it. Try not to break it. Next, you can pop your door sill off. Mine just held on with clips. Some people's is held on with like sticky tape, but mine just got these clips on it. One right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there. So we're gonna clean this off. Um, it's best to use like rubbing alcohol, but since I don't have any right here, I'm gonna use. Uh, some of my cleaning, my car cleaning supplies. Chemical Guys water, waterless car wash. You just spray it. You just wipe it all off. So, um, most of the time, this will be your ground, right? So, we'll, this, um, I'll show y'all what it does. All right. All right, so that's. That's my button to tell me that my lights are on. So you see all the um, lights are on in the inside, but if I unscrew this, which is grounded to the car, you unscrew it, you can see the lights go off. It's dimmed in the back, you know. I move to take the screw out, and then the lights cut off. Well, pull that apart, and the lights go off. But when you put it back on, So you know that's your ground. So we're gonna take this all the way out and you're gonna look and see which, what color uh, wire it is. Mine's green, so I know I gotta find the green wire, which, it's only one green wire like that, which is that one right there. So I can use that as my ground. So once we found our ground, we're gonna take our tester, which is here. And I'm gonna ground it to this right here. I'm gonna ground it to that. I'm gonna come back over a little bit. And now we'll find our power wire. So my car has subs in it, so I already I already know where my power wire is, which is this blue one. But if you don't know where your power wire is, um, let me show you how to find it. Basically, you just poke wires until you find the one that you need. All right, so here it is. 
I will recommend like cutting the sheath a little bit, but um, this is pretty sharp. So, oh look, found my power wire already. So I know my power wire will be this pink wire. Uh, let's see, test this green one. That green was a power wire as well. You want to strip this one as well. You don't need a long piece of it. Um, Get you a piece like that, two pieces like that. So, these together. Oh Lord, this beef might have drive me crazy. And it ain't gonna stop till I close my door. Let me close it real quick. All right. All right, we're back. So, once you get that twisted, um, Push it down and put some tape on it. Piece. Now, twist that piece. All right, now, this is what you end up with. Now, these two pieces. All right, so now what you're gonna do is, um. So this is my power wire, so I'm gonna put red over it. Basically, you just gotta get this wire, I mean, get this casing over this wire. So um, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna come right back to you. So that should be good. Now slide that through there. All right. Now this is where the pliers come in handy. You, let me get it from the other angle. All right. You wanna squeeze down on that metal piece Make sure it's snug and it's not coming out and then clip it and that's how you hook it up so now i'm going to take this side panel off so i can verify my ground So, put that in there. everything out Bruh. all right so after 
grounding it. Um, only thing I did was pulled it out and then to reposition it. But um, so we got it grounded up there, and we gonna reposition this. I had to take this out real quick to clean underneath it again. But so, all right. So now. I'm about to test and make sure we have power. We got power. We got power. Oh. Alright, so we can plug this up real quick. Alright, All right, now we're going to fix the ground. My apologies. The ground wasn't. The wire's too thick. I didn't score it enough. Boom. So there we go. After a long. Okay, so we're done. It's very bright out here, so um, you're not really gonna be able to see it. See it a little bit, but it's really bright outside. But um, I'm gonna tell you my mess ups as to why my videos cut uh, in and out. So here, I didn't have enough wires in the inside showing to touch metal to metal. Hold up. So yeah, in the inside of this, uh, wasn't enough wire showing for metal to metal to get a good connection. Same with the ground. So make sure you strip the wire and a lot and make sure it's a bunch of wire in the inside of this. It's all insulated so you'll be good. Um, and once you do that, I have identified the right places. They both was the right places, it just wasn't enough wire in the inside showing. So um, make sure you got a lot of wire in the inside showing. So make sure it's none on the outside though. You never want any uh, extra strands to be out. Because if it touch anything, it can short circuit. And same with this. So um, now, now that we got that done, I'm going to go ahead, clean up some spots, put tape over everything that's exposed and anything that I cut. And then, um, yeah, then I'm going to tape this down. Well, it's sticky side tape on the back of it. So, yeah, I didn't stick that down yet. I just wanted to make sure, you know, everything was working fine. But now that we figured out that everything's working fine, um, I'm gonna switch over, I'm gonna do the other side, and then I'll be back to you guys. Rest.